Hey Dreadhurst, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can identify the order blocks in PineScript in TradingView. So first of all, let's go ahead and define the conditions for detecting the order block. Order block is formed when there is an institutional activity and that institutional activity is represented by continuous formation of these kind of bearish or bullish candles as we can see in this case here. And the order block is formed at the high and the low of the previous candle before the institutional activity. If it is a bearish order block like this one, there will be four consecutive bearish candles and the candle before these consecutive bearish candles will be a bullish one. So this will be a bearish order block. And similarly, if we talk about the bullish order block, there will be a bearish candle and then four consecutive bullish candles. So this one here would be the bullish order block. Now let's go ahead and define this and start writing code for this indicator. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to de determine the type of candle. And for this, we're going to use the bullish and bearish candle indicator or the custom function in which we pass on the close and open value. And it will evaluate the candle, whether it's a bullish or bearish, and then return a true or false based on the conditions. Then we're going to go ahead and define the conditions for detecting the valid order block. So for example, here we can see if it's a bullish order block, then first we check the fourth candle. That would be this candle here. If we just go ahead and power play the market. So we can see that this fourth candle, if we're going to check that, then it should be bearish in case of bullish order block and it should be bullish in case of this bearish order block. Then we go ahead and define the next candle. So the next candles in case of bearish order block should be bearish as you can see here. And the next candle in case of bullish order block should be bullish in, K in as you can see in here. So this variable will evaluate to true because this is the formation of a bearish order block. After that, after we have defined the conditions, let's go ahead and plot the highs and lows or evaluate the highs and lows of these bearish and bullish order blocks. So for that, we are going to define four variables and we're going to use the var keyword because we want to save the state of the variable even if the even if the condition remains true or false or the next candles. So here, if we are saying if the order block is bullish or lock then we want to get the high of this fourth candle the uh, the fourth candle and then the low of the fourth candle and we'll plot a label that there is the formation of a bullish or lock let me just go ahead and find one so this one here is a bullish or lock so we will get the high and low of this candle and plot a label similarly we'll do the same with the bearish order block in here we are getting the bearish order block high like this one and very short block low like this one and then we are plotting a label on top of this candle now let's go ahead and let me just complete this so we want to keep the size too small and we're gonna close these parentheses so now all that remains is to plot the high and low levels of bullish and bearish order blocks. And for that, we're going to use this code. So let me just go ahead and go to the next line. And we're going to plot the high and low of these bullish and bearish order blocks. So here we're plotting the high and low of the bullish order block. And here we are plotting the high and low of this bearish order block. Now, if I add this indicator to the chart, you'll see that it will detect the bullish and bearish order blocks as we can see here. So right now we can see that it has detected this as bullish. <laughs> it has detected this as bullish order block because there are four consecutive bullish candles and the candle before this these bullish candles is a bearish candle. Similarly, this one is detected as bearish order block, and uh, it is detected as bearish order block because the next four candles are bearish and this candle is bullish. So this will act as our bearish order block. So this is how you can determine the bullish and bearish order blocks. And you can do much more with this indicator. This is just 
the simplest and easiest way to determine the order blocks using Python script. I hope you understood the concept of order blocks and how you can use the Python script to determine correct order blocks on your chart. And I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Thank you.